Hi, I'm Richard from Hockey Tutorial, and today we're going to be looking at whether or not it's worth buying a repaired hockey stick like this one from the Hockey Repair Shop. So for those of you who watched our Q&A, you will have seen that we had a few requests for testing out repaired sticks. We've been hearing this for a little while, so we managed to acquire one from the Hockey Repair Shop. We've been testing it out, and now we're going to give you our thoughts on it. So the original idea for this video was we'd take this SuperTax, the original, and we'd test it against a unbroken SuperTax. However, this idea went straight out the window because we didn't factor in the fact that Hockey Repair Shop uses pro stock sticks and pros have access to all sorts of different options that you or I might not be able to get hold of. So this stick feels completely different. And for those of you who've been hanging around for a while, you'll know I wasn't the biggest fan of the SuperTax 1.0. However, this time I got on with it a lot better. So for information's sake, this is the original SuperTax and this is a 75 Flex P19. Now the shaft on this was originally a P28. The blade is a P19. This little line here is where Hockey Repair Shop have taken the two sticks, cut them to pieces, put them back together. Now, as I was saying, this is a pro stock stick. The thing you need to be paying attention to is this isn't gonna necessarily be exactly the same as the model you're gonna buy in a shop, which has pros and cons. For example, I enjoyed this a lot more than I enjoyed the original SuperTax. However, if I'd gone in for this, wanting the exact same as a super tax, just wanting to pay less money for it, you may be disappointed because this does feel really different. This isn't half as square on the shoulders, has really rounded shoulders, and it's a lot easier to load, I found, than the original super tax. So when I say save a little bit of money, this thing was 70 euros. Compared to what this would be in the 200 euro range for a brand new stick, that's a pretty incredible saving. And the only difference is you see this. Now, does it affect performance? I've used this for quite some time now. As you can see, the stick is not very damaged. None of this damage was put on by me. There's a few chips and things, and these came obviously from the stick being previously used. But like I say, all cosmetic and absolutely nothing to worry about. If we get to the most important th part of the matter, that is this connection. Does it affect how the stick works? Now, personally, I felt it wasn't exactly the same as a one piece. And by exactly the same, we all know that one piece versus two piece feel that one piece, how everything's responsive, it doesn't exactly feel like that. However, it feels nothing like a two piece. If you look at this join, it's completely flat. You can't see glue, you can't see anything. It literally looks like there's just a line drawn on the stick. And it feels almost like someone just drew a line on a stick. There's the ever so slight difference. Apart from that, this is basically a top of the line one piece stick. I've really enjoyed using it. I've had the QX from Warrior for a little while, and that's been paired with this, so I've been rotating in and out. And honestly, this didn't lose much to the Warrior. I actually preferred this stick purely because I've now used the P19 curve, and that's, I've really enjoyed using the P19 curve. If I'm honest, the only bit of damage this thing took was the uh, sticker from Hockey Repair Shop fell off in like the first 20 minutes. But apart from that, it's held up really well. So to give you a little bit of extra feedback on how exactly I felt this stick performed, I'm gonna break it down, passing, shooting, stick handling. First one was easy, passing, didn't notice any difference at all. Like the nuances of this stick only really show up in stick handling and maybe a little bit in shooting. Passing, it's perfect. I didn't have any problems with it. It took me five minutes to get used to the new curve, which I love. Generally, it just felt like a really good stick. I was pleasantly surprised that I enjoyed it a lot more than the original SuperTax. And obviously anyone who is buying a stick, that may happen, that may not happen, it's down to your personal preference, but for me, that worked out for me. So now if we get down to stick handling, honestly, it's a minute difference. I, like I said, really enjoyed using it. Would you notice, maybe if you're doing some crazy stick handling and warm ups, but in the heat of battle in the middle of a game, I don't think so. As so many of you are fond of reminding me, I use a terrible tape job. That probably has more of an issue with my stick handling than anything else, so it wouldn't be a worry for me. So when it comes down to shooting, it's a bit difficult for me because obviously this is a lot different to the original SuperTax and it's going to depend on whether or not it's the stick that feels different or whether or not it's the fact that it's a broken stick that feels different. Ultimately, I've used it for a while. I enjoy shooting with it. It feels pretty good. Whether or not you'd really have to worry about it, I'm not a guy who fully loads a stick. I definitely don't get every last inch out of the flex. If you are, maybe you'll notice it more than me, but for an everyday player, not going to be a problem. So just to make it perfectly clear, I don't actually know what technology keeps this together. Whether it's glue, whether it's an inset on the inside, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure from the fact that this shaft says P28 and this curve is a P19, that they take two broken sticks and work their magic with it. It makes the stick ever so slightly heavier. 
it didn't feel like it was blade heavy at all when I was using it. And at the end of the day, I don't really care. I'll be perfectly honest, I didn't notice it. It's not bothered me at all. It does a really good job. Whatever they're using, it's working. So this video is probably gonna be a lot shorter than the rest. We're not versus this against anything. I'm just giving you my honest opinion on whether or not saving a bit of money and buying a repaired stick is worth it. And honestly, it did a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to. This was one of Chris's ideas where I was like, mm, I'm not so into this. I could be reviewing a different stick, but honestly, it's it's been really good. I've really enjoyed using it. Um, it gave me a lot to think about in regards to buying sticks in the future. And similar to our previous video, which was about the $100 sticks, or under $100 sticks rather, it just opens your eyes to what's possible and what the other options are. Maybe some of us who are more used to having top of line sticks on demand or they get sent to us or whatever, we get a bit spoiled and don't realize, but this is a solid option. Like this is, this, is, this is a top of the line stick. It's a top of the line stick. So whether or not you're thinking of buying one, give it serious thought because this could save you a whole lot of money for a really good product. So guys, if this has impressed you anywhere near as much as it impressed me, you might wanna look into this. The link's gonna be down below for any of you that are thinking of picking one up. Uh, apart from that, let us know what your thoughts on the video were. Other videos over here. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you soon. Before we end the video, just wanted to let you guys know that, see these t-shirts, the Hockey Tutorial Ambassador t-shirts? There'll be a link down below in the video description so you can pick them up. If you want to be an ambassador for us, if you want to be an ambassador for the sport, click down below so you can pick up your very own one of these. Make sure you check it out. Take care till the next one.